I recently got a request to do a waves video and I had so much fun doing it and there were so many great ideas that I decided I have to do more than one. So this waves workout focuses on vertical waves, also known as pitch and surge when you're thinking about the six degrees of flow. You don't need any equipment and I'm guiding you through, so let's get to it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click the bell for notifications, like this video, share with your friends and family, and be sure to come back to this mobility playlist for more. So today's workout focuses on pitch and surge waves. So those are vertical waves, right? That is this kind of movement. That is our pitch. And then literally, surging is this forward back kind of motion, right? So there's gonna be a lot of down dog. And we're gonna get into some half kneeling. So if you need a bolster or a cushion for your knee, now is the time to grab it. We're doing five reps per movement. And I'm guiding you through. So you don't have to worry, and we're starting out really gently. So I hope that you find at least one or two of these exercises that really speaks to you, that you suddenly are like, I gotta do this every single day, because that is what I'm hoping for, that's what my goal is for all of my videos. So the first sort of very gentle version of a spinal wave is standing. You don't have to go really far. I'm gonna go to my hips, my hands will end up kind of pushing on my thighs, and I'm just, chest is out and proud, folding over first. If you bring your chest to your thighs, great, but there's no requirement, right? There's no reason you have to get really low. You're just going to whatever feels good to you. Three, four, five. And now we're also gonna do the reverse. So I say this all the time in my stick mobility videos, you wanna be dramatic here. You wanna think about being like a mermaid coming out of the ocean, right? So that's the idea. The more dramatic you try and make this move, the more you're articulating your spine. So if we're starting down here, I'm gonna lift up, right? And I'm lifting myself up and then folding down, lifting up, folding down. Two more. Just really warming yourself up, definitely feeling that spine doing this kind of movement. So we're staying in this range today, in this vertical kind of wave. Now I'm going to add on a little bit. If that was easy for you, great. We're going to try and go all the way into a forward fold. So starting with your arms reaching high again, you're just going to fold over, making it as dramatic as you feel. Bend those knees and then roll your body up, right? Thinking about going up vertebrate by vertebrate. Reach those arms up and bend the knees, fold forward. Reaching high. If you don't touch the ground, totally fine. You can still move to whatever your range is and you'll feel a nice little hamstring stretch. You'll feel this in your calves and you'll definitely feel this as you wake up your spine. So now we're going to go the other way, right? We were falling forward and then we're going to rise up and then bend and get small, right? Rise up, bend those knees, think about chest to the thighs, and then straighten. Sweep up and down. Sweep up. Nice little calf and hamstring stretch here. Right? You can always hold for as long as you feel comfortable. Or sweep up. Fold down, let's do one more. Sweep up and fold. Beautiful. Coming down onto the ground, on your hands and knees. Find that tabletop position. 
And now we're getting it. You can have your the tops of your feet down, or you can have those curls, those toes curled under, whatever is better for you. So we're getting into the classic spinal wave. Everybody knows this movement, the cat cow. This is a great movement, and it's so simple because having our hands and knees down on the ground gives us additional stability, but it also gives us a closed chain. So our spine will really push to whatever range it actually can go, right? It'll go a little bit further than you might if you're standing. So again, you're thinking about chest lowering down, arch that those hips look up towards the sky, but don't let your shoulders come near your ears. Think about pressing out. Uh, exhale, squeeze nose to pelvis, really round that back. Inhale, open up. You can really take your time here and think about moving tiny individual vertebrae at a time. So while you're here, you may find that your shoulders come up. That is pretty natural. But as you inhale and release up, I want you to think about pressing your shoulders away from your ears. One more. Come back to neutral. We're gonna push back. So toes down on the ground, push back into your child's pose. If you wanna push your knees out a little wider, toes coming toward each other, that is great. <clears throat> Find that child's pose and just take a moment. See how flat you get, right? Just breathe, reaching those arms out in front, hands as far as they can go. And we're going to wave up into a plank. So you're here, wave up into a plank on your knees, squeeze your glutes. You want to create a nice straight line. If you're doing this and you feel a lot of pressure in your shoulders, you're not squeezing your glutes. And wave back, thinking about being like a cat, really arch your back as we do these. Squeeze, pushing your shoulders down and away from your ears. Nice, strong plank position on your knees. Three more. You can always look up to add a little bit more intensity to this movement. Right, as soon as you start doing that, you can see my back is arching. We're almost getting into an upward facing dog. It's not a bad move, it's just not what we're doing. So you wanna stay here, curl back, last one. So because I'm squeezing my glutes, I'm pressing the earth away from me. I'm really limiting how much of a wave I can do outside of this backward portion of it, right? So now we're gonna start from that plank position, bring my knees in just a little bit closer so they're not angled outward. And I want you to really focus on this push back, right? It's less about the coming forward. We just did that. I really want you to think about arching as you go backward. You can bring your elbows down onto the ground, push forward, round back. Elbows down, pull yourself forward into that plank. Round back, two more. Last one here, right? So you're also doing a little bit of dolphin work, bringing those elbows down and pulling your body through into this kind of plank position. Pushing back, we're gonna start again in the child's pose position. You may not want your knees to be out quite as far to the sides. You may wanna keep them a little more straight. Whatever feels comfortable to you, and especially if you have any kind of uh, angry knees, we want to make them as comfortable as possible in this position. So again, we're going to reach our arms out long. I call this movement the angry ocean. 
And I want you to think about the way when the ocean is really moving and it feels like it's angry, you can see those waves toppling over each other. So it's kind of what we're doing. We're going to be reaching arms out long, find that plank position on our knees, do a little tiny push-up, and then from that push-up, we're gonna wave back. Here we go. Here, so wave forward, push up, and press back. Right, there's a little bit more speed from the push-up all the way back. So here we go, round forward, find that plank, lower down, push back. Inhale, whoop, that was the, cat, uh, the child's pose version. Round forward, plank, lower down, push back. Two more, round, lower, push back. Last one, round, lower, and push back. Beautiful. Taking a breath. Finding that down dog position. So now we're not on our knees. We're going to be in this down dog coming into a plank. So there's a little bit of a wave here, right? You'll see when I'm in my down dog, my heels are trying to get down towards the ground. And then to just to initiate this wave, I lift my heels and it pushes me forward into that plank. Right? So then my heels come down, lift the heels, roll forward, lift the heels, roll back. Heels come down. Three. Take a moment, come down onto hands and knees for sit for a second. Whew, that can be a lot of work. And again, especially on your wrists. So take your time if you need to. We're going to add on to that sort of down dog plank business. And now we're going to bend our knees. So it's not just letting the heels lead. Here we go. Find that down dog. Pressing forward into a plank, and I'm going to bend my knees, try to bring my butt to my heels, and then press up into down dog. Here we go. Plank. Bend the knees, butt to heels. Press up. Two. Three. Bend. Press. Four. Bend. And press. Whew. Sliding a little bit. Now we're going to do the reverse. So you're going to bend, press forward into a plank. Find that down dog. Bend, press forward. Down dog. Bend, press forward. Down dog. Two more. Bend, plank, down dog. Bend, plank, and down dog. Beautiful. Coming into that down dog again, pedal your feet. Take a breath. We're going straight into up, down dog. So from this down dog, press yourself forward. Really find that arch. You can leave your feet curled under and press back. Again, thinking about creating that wave. Heels lift, roll, until I get into that up dog, and press back. Three. Four. Five. Beautiful. From here, down dog. You're going to roll yourself into a plank, lower down all the way to your belly. 
Take a breath. Whew. I'm gonna scooch down my mat just a tiny bit. You don't need to adjust, but for me, I just like using my mat as sort of a reference point. So, we're on our bellies, taking a breath. You're gonna reach your fingertips. So they are touching, not your hands, just those fingertips. Elbows are out wide. You can have your head resting down on the mat for a moment. We're gonna do a little baby cobra. Again, we're thinking about how we can turn this into a wave. So as you start to press up, head is down on the mat. Your chest is lifting forward, right? It's lifting upward. And as you do, because your elbows are out wide in this position, you're gonna think about pulling them in towards each other. And as you do, once you get to that end range, that's when you're gonna look up. So here, and then lower down. Squeeze the elbows together, lower down. This helps ensure that my shoulders are packed down. And it gives me more strength, even though I'm just using my fingertips. One more, and then we're going to add on. And now we're going to add on and look side to side. All right, so we're going to do four more. Look to one side, look to the other side as you come up. So lifting up exactly the same, and I'm looking over my shoulder as I come up. Get a nice little stretch through the abdominal side of the opposite. Looking up and over to the side. Flow down. Press, look up. Shoulders are packed down and lower down. Look up. And lower down. Beautiful. Take a breath. Shake it out. Take just a moment to breathe. Now, we're going to come back into that down dog position. However you want to get here. Paddle the feet. Take a breath. Push back into down dog, the left leg, knee comes in, kick up into three leg dog, and then come forward, drop that foot in between both of your hands. You can drop that back knee down. And now you're going to lift your arms up, reach up, stretch up, and exhale, pull down and back into cactus. So both of your arms are trying to, trying to squeeze your shoulder blades together. And then round, reach those hands forward, reach up, and cactus. Here we go. Round forward, reach up, and cactus. You may find that you have a little bit of wiggle here. Totally normal. These are not easy to do. Reach forward. we got two more. Up and down, forward, up and down. You can stay here or you're gonna add on with me. You can easily bring your hands down to the ground, curl that back toe under, lifting up into a lunge position. We're doing the same thing. Let's go for three reps. Reach those arms up, find that lunge, cactus, even less stability here because I don't have a knee down. Roll forward, up, cactus. Roll forward, up, and cactus. One more, just like that. Roll forward, and then up, and down. Whew. Drop that back knee down. Let that foot relax. We're going to lean backward. Get into a nice little hamstring stretch here. Again, your fingertips are down on the mat. We're gonna do a little hamstring stretch wave. So 
A lot of people do this, right? Bringing your chest toward your knee is always great. We're just gonna make it a little more dramatic. So, thinking about it, like I'm gonna bring my chest down, touch my nose to my knee, and then press up. Exhale, bring it together. Inhale, rise. Flexing that foot. One more. Bend that front leg. Curl that back toe under. Lift up into a lunge. Step it back into down dog. We've got the other side to do. So have a nice little pedal. One, two, three. Push back into that down dog. Right knee comes in and up. Step through. Drop that back knee down. Relax that foot. Lift up. Look up if you can. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, round forward. Exhale, up and back. Two, three, four, one more, five, either staying here in this half kneeling position or you can add on, hands come down, curl that back toe under, find your lunge. Here we go. Lift up and cactus. Roll forward, up, cactus. Roll forward, up, and cactus. Let's go one more. Roll forward, up, and cactus. Hands come down, drop that back knee down. Relax that foot. Pushing forward, flex that front leg. Fingertips are down on the mat. We're going to wave. Looking up as you inhale all the way up. Knee to nose. Three. Four, and five. Bend that front leg. Hands come down, curl that back toe under. Step back into that down dog. Take a breath. Gently walk your feet to your hands. You can hold on to both elbows and just rock gently side to side. Drop your hands down, halfway lift, exhale, fold, inhale, rise up. Beautiful work with me. Thanks so much for being here. I had a lot of fun. I feel great. I feel open and strong. And I hope that you enjoyed this workout. Please drop me a comment. Let me know what other kind of things you want to see. I'd love to make the videos for you because I really enjoy it. And I get to learn so many things that I didn't realize my body needs. So you can always hit me up via social media or here on YouTube, and I look forward to our next workout together.